Excellent. Okay, everyone, if you saw my first video, you know that I introduced a RetroPie image for the Pi 4, an unofficial image. We're going to make that available to you now. Uh, first, I want to thank Monka Blyot again for making it possible. And also, I wanted to see a lot of people commented on the first video, hey, why don't you test this uh, emulator? Why don't you test this against that? Hey, listen, I'm like you guys. I just don't have time. Nobody has time anymore. So when you guys ask for me to test stuff, I mean, between the recording and, and the editing and the testing, I just want to play the games. Uh, I do this as a hobby. I'm going to leave all that testing to the to the ETA Primes and uh, the Drew Talks of the world who get monetized for doing this. I'm just doing it for fun and for a hobby uh, and just to help you guys out. So, hey, now you're going to have it available. You want testing done. All I can say is go for it. At the same time, I'm going to say this. When you do test this image or use it, if you have any questions or even if you don't want to use it again, you got to go to the Discord channel for the Single Board Community, community Gaming Group. And that Discord is right here. You want to join this group right here. Uh, SBC Gaming uh, Unofficial RetroPie Discord. They'll help you out for all your questions on anything, not just this particular image. They will help you out with this one too, uh, but you should join this Discord. Okay, okay. After all that, I digress. Let's get into the image. Don't just go down and download it from the Dropbox menu or link down here. There's a couple things I want to tell you first about it. Number one, it's a PI shrink image. I shrunk it down from 15 gigs to 11 gigs. Not certain why it's so big still. The guys in SBC believe it should be smaller. They're going to look into that. It doesn't matter. It still runs great. doesn't have any impact technically on the performance right now. The next thing is you're not going to get it in the carbon theme. It's going to come in the Tekken theme that he has it set to. So it's going to look like this when you first get it. Just change it if you want. Download a new theme. Do what you will. More importantly is... The first thing you're going to want to do, and I got to get this in the carbon, I, uh, it's a little too busy for me. Very important. You're going to want to go into your RetroPie Raspberry Config options, first thing. And you're going to want to expand the file system for the SD card uh, to make sure that the full SD card is utilized. What you're going to do is you're going to go here to Raspi Config Settings. You're going to go down to Advanced Options. You're going to do A1 expand file system ensures that all of the SD card storage is available. So make sure you do that. I already did it. I'm not going to show you. It's going to say finish and then reboot uh, to make it take effect. Okay, next you're going to see uh, a, basically an error message or a warning message about experimental drivers. When you come up here, right here, you have experimental desktop GL driver. Just bypass this. There is a... Uh, no issues with that. Just hit the OK button and move on. Next, you're also going to see a lot of installed emulators already. All the normal optional packages are all already going to be installed. That's fine. No impact. You can uninstall them if you want. You can leave them in. You can do what you want. You may be missing one or two cores that you might have found elsewhere in the uh, Pi 3 image. Uh, that's no big deal. You can report it on SBC. Maybe Monkablaya will do more uh, improvements on this. I'm not certain. But feel free to go ahead and ask in the SBC Gaming Discord. Okay, so where do you get an image? Dropbox link in the description. Go ahead and download it. You know how to uh, write an image and put it on your uh, put it on an SD card and put it into the Pi. The other thing I wanted to say is there's also a link uh, down there that goes over some configuration tools for the Raspberry Pi 4 that will improve your emulation experience. It gives you some overclocking advice. As I said, there's tons of variables in RetroArch and even overclocking and which emulators you use as to what's going to give you the best performance. So keep that in mind. Take a look at that as a general rule. And listen, ladies and gentlemen, have fun testing this image. Just use it possibly until a official image comes out. Do what you will with it. It's a great image. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I'm working on an interactive uh, streaming video game show. Uh, hopefully I'll be coming out with it in a couple weeks and uh, it's going to be real fun. Check that out. Thanks as always for watching the Rexer show.